Hello! Today we are talking about how you should be posting your art multiple times, promoting it, and know you're not being annoying, and how to get out of your own head about it. I was originally going to make a video about um, like a broken down how I made 43k at my first solo exhibition when I was 21 years old with only 6,000 followers at the time and no gallery. Um, but I think I'm going to save that for next week because this video just seemed like more important and more relevant to me right now and I just felt like sharing this one for this week. I thought this video was important because once upon a time I used to be that kind of artist where I would post something once and like because I have, I feel like I was born with low self-esteem like I was a really shy kid so I feel like my approach to, to things has always been with like extra extra caution so I used to be that person that would post something once and in my head I'd be like oh I've already posted it once like I don't want to be annoying I don't want to bother anyone I don't want to bother people that are following me like once is enough um, they've, they've seen it already that was totally me and now I'm like no stop that and if you're like that you need to stop that um, so I broken this down into three like Three sections. I wanted to use this as a reminder not only for you guys but also for me like these are things that um, I do still remind myself but I've gotten increasingly increasingly better at it you know now I can post whatever I want. If I want to share a section of my art piece for the 20th time I'm gonna post it for the 20th time and I don't care. <laughs> I think it's cool and I think that you should see it. I don't care if you've seen it 20 times. Anyways, so point number one People do not notice your art or remember it. And that's just nothing personal. It says nothing about your skill. It says nothing about your art piece. You could have painted the most phenomenal art piece in the whole world. People still probably won't see it and probably won't remember it unless you post it more than once. Posting just one time really, really is not enough. It's really not a personal thing. People are just so busy and so consumed in their lives. There is a million other things that go on in somebody's life. The internet is such a huge distraction. Even when you log on an Instagram, there's a million things that are trying to grab your attention. You've got ads, you've got reels, you've got um, like your DMs to look at, you've got, and then you've just, you've got people's stories, and then you just scroll on Instagram and people just want the quickest dopamine hit. The way that I like to look at it is that I sort of reflect on how I interact with other people People's art and I realized like oh it's true like I literally am so distracted all the time even if I saw literally the best art in the whole entire world because I'm so distracted and because the internet moves so quickly I will literally just oh that's so good oh my god I will literally do this I'll be scrolling on Instagram and I'll be like oh my god that art is so good might leave a comment oh my god that art is so good double tap have the best time ever looking at it of course because the artwork is amazing but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a comment I'm gonna double tap I'm gonna scroll past I'm sorry in five minutes I've forgotten already like I've forgotten about it <laughs> like and I'm sure I'm not the only person that functions this way we are constantly distracted we are constantly stimulated by other things you know Outside of Instagram, you've got TikTok pulling out someone's attention. You've got Twitter pulling out people's attention. YouTube, like there's just distractions literally everywhere. And people are not going to remember your art just from seeing it one time. The way that the algorithm works these days is like most people probably don't even see the painting the first time. People are just really busy and it's really not personal that like people don't notice your art or care about your art. You have to make them care by shoving it in their motherfucking face. Okay, number two. Even if they did see your artwork, they are not going to remember it or anything about it unless they see it again and then they see it again and they see it again and then they see it again it's literally just basic marketing I don't really know marketing that well but in the last uh, few weeks I've definitely been forcing myself to watch marketing videos and watch sales videos um, because I also I just came to realize that like art if you want your art to do well you have to market it correctly everything is marketing like literally everything is marketing there's a marketing rule that says that I'm sure you might have heard about it people don't even consider buying a product from somebody or from a company unless they've seen it at least seven times so you can't expect somebody to see your art once 
and remember it. They literally probably have to see it at least seven times before it sticks in their head. Like, if you want your art to be memorable and to stand out and for people to recognize it and really, really, like, pay attention to it, you have to just continuously expose them to it. The way that I like to look at this is that I have an iPhone. I don't know why the fuck I own an iPhone. I don't know what the specs are. I don't know why it's better than an Android. All I know is that I have an iPhone because every single person around me has an iPhone and it looks good. And if I walk into the city, I could probably find one advertisement for an iPhone hanging around somewhere. I just have it because I've seen the fucking iPhone ad. I've seen I've seen iPhones around me everywhere I go and because of that exposure, I have an iPhone. It's stuck and in, so ingrained in my brain that iPhones are good because I've just seen it fucking everywhere. So basically, you're not going to lose anything by posting your artwork multiple times. The only thing that's going to change is that that piece of artwork is just... Sorry, there was dust. <laughs> that piece of artwork is just going to become more and more ingrained in people's brains the more you see it. Obviously, there are some exceptions. Like, if you go super viral and so many people see your work, like, that's great. And that is so much more exposure and, like, that's awesome. Um, or if you're, like, already really famous or you have a lot of followers, like, and a lot of people share your artwork, that is great exposure as well. Like, you might not need to post it as much. But, again, to even get to that point where you have a lot of people sharing your artwork, like, you need to be sharing your own shit. <laughs> you need to be promoting your own shit until the world notices. The world's not gonna notice unless you make your art known by sharing it a lot, a lot and a lot and a lot of times. Repetition is awesome. Repetition, people, you think people get tired of it, but they really don't. They really don't, which leads me to the next point, um, which is that for some reason, artists, a lot of artists I know, and sometimes including me, have this sort of doubt of, oh, I'm being annoying, people are going to get sick of seeing your artwork. When have you ever gotten sick of seeing an artwork? You want proof? I want you to think about the Mona Lisa. I want you to think how many times in your lifetime you have seen the Mona Lisa. I know for a fact I have seen the Mona Lisa thousands of times since and I and I remember seeing her as early as my memories were able to be formed because that is how much I've seen her um, I've literally probably saw her when I was four or something like literally my whole life I just I don't know I just knew what the Mona Lisa was it's everywhere she's everywhere um, I've probably seen her a thousand times and I'm sure you have too now I want you to ask yourself when have you ever thought to yourself Fuck that Mona Lisa bitch. I'm fucking sick and tired of seeing her. Get her out of my face. Like, when have you ever done that? Or when have you ever thought that? And if you have thought that, you're weird. Because <laughs> it's not that serious. My point is, you have seen the Mona Lisa probably your entire life. You see her all the time. You see her everywhere. You see her constantly. You've never gotten sick of her. And I bet you, like 90% of you, if you guys were in France right now for a holiday, all of you would go to see the Mona Lisa because you want to see her and you would get there and there would be a huge crowd of people like there always is every day all lined up to see this fucking painting that people literally love her for the clout people love her for the clout like let's be for real you literally don't know why you like her you just like her because she's famous you've seen her and you're not sick of her and I really believe that like Art is timeless and I believe that if you have created art from your spirit and the spirit is eternal and you've created art from your spirit I think it's inevitable that your art is timeless and that people can see it over and over again and not ever get sick of it and you could say the same for other famous paintings like the starry night everyone knows the starry night and etc and if that wasn't enough proof think about your favorite song Think about how many times you've played your favorite song and why every time it comes on, you're still like, Woo! Again! Woo! Again! I've listened to some songs literally since I was like 13. And every now and then it'll come up and I'll still want to listen to it and I'll still have this relive that experience of like loving the song and enjoying the song. So I promise you, if the people that follow you love your art, they love seeing your art, they don't care how many times they see it. 
If anything, they might notice something new. Oh, also, I want to talk about this. A mindset shift that did give me confidence as well to post more is remembering that although you made your artwork for you, you're sharing it online for the world. You have to remember that it's people's lives are actually being benefited from you sharing your artwork. People enjoy consuming art. They love consuming art. It's human nature. Like, we literally love consuming art. So you have to remember that people genuinely want to see your artwork. People find enjoyment looking at your artwork. Um, so instead of thinking it from a perspective of like, oh, I'm posting for me, I'm posting so I can get likes, I'm posting so I can get recognized, so that I can have followers and I can have more views on my content, like, instead of doing that, because sometimes if you were born with like low self-esteem, like, ha having this idea that you're posting for yourself can sort of make us believe like, oh, we're being annoying because we're trying to like gain things for ourselves but as when you remind yourself that you're posting for the world to enjoy you're posting because you're being of service to the world so that other people can enjoy the art that you've created i actually think it makes it reassures me that oh okay i'm posting because this is good for other people and other people want to see it that mindset shift also kind of gave me some more confidence as well just remembering that your art is made for you, but shared online for the world. For the world to enjoy what you've created. Like, you're being helpful. You're being a helpful member of society <laughs> by sharing your artwork. Anyways, that concludes my video. Just to summarize, you should be posting your art multiple times because one, people don't notice or even remember your art the first time. Two, even if they did, if you want your art to be memorable, people need exposure. And three, when have you ever gone gotten sick of an artwork that you love or an art piece that you love? I hope this helped you. I hope this is a good reminder. Feel free to come back to this video if you ever need the reminder again or send it to your friend who needs a reminder as well. Um, and yes, thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe. I will see you next week if you want to know how I made 43k on my first exhibition at 21 years old with only 6,000 followers at the time with no gallery.